if you thought you seen it all, you were wrong. Because now I will be covering module 5, tracking task, on some of the code we had to do. So I'll be covering both parts A and B for the tracking exercise. So the first thing we wanted to do was essentially set up this picture. And as you can see, it's got some nice little lighting and everything. It's got some freeze frames in there. It, it's got everything we need. So pretty much you add in your right node and you'll then create a tracker. So as you can see what the tracker is doing, it sits on here and it essentially splits the frame so that you can play back one side and view the other. And it keeps a stabilized stasis on there. As we go more down, you can probably see we have more code here. So we have flares one, two, three, and four. So essentially with flare one over here, as you can see, we have set our ring color to one in red, 0.8 in green, and 0.3 in blue to create a sort of yellow tinge. Our inner color is an 0.5, with our outer fall off being a 2.3 in red, 2.5 in green, and 2.65 in blue. Now, all these settings are the exact same for these flares. So, essentially, we create the first flare, right? And you can see, oh yeah, it's nice and pretty, and when it plays back, it actually has the tracking too. So, we'll just cut this at where it stops. You can see that it has the nice bounce, it's got the flares going on. That's where Tracker 2 comes into play. So, whoops. So with Tracker 2, it essentially connects in with our flares. So whenever they move, you can see that it just bounces and bounces off with the tracker. That is because it's tracking the movement of the flame and moving with it. After that, we then create our write node, which of course writes everything. You want your codec being H.264, having .mov at the end, and that is it for that bit. So as we move on, we then have this video. So this is all it is. When it'll load. So this needs to be cranked up to 100 again. So I'll just play from the start. As you can see, it's tracking everything. We have our set tracker three. So what the tracker is doing is actually tracking the movement of the frame. Where it connects at the end, you can see that that is where the frame hold stops. Now all that had to get edited as well. We then have our image that we're wanting to use, which in this case, we chose this. We set our rectangle alpha up so the rectangle will pick what goes in it essentially. So it can close all these off. Now the rectangle is tracking the size of that. We then add in our pre-malt, which we have connected in, which connects in with our corner pin. Now our corner pin connects in with our tracker three over here. So our corner pin is connected into this. So point one is here. Point two is here. We have point three up here and there, and point four there and there. After that, we add a little blur so that it adds a bit of effect. And then we have the read frame merging over. 
afterwards we then have it writing and as you can see it plays through so it's going a little bit slow there we go so as you can see we set up the tracking and if I remove all of these you can see we had to set the tracking with this imagery and once that's all complete we then do the same process and create a write node by pressing W or you can go tab and write um, with our codec being H264.